Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. I'm Mina. Tonight we're going to be doing uh, a continuation of the flip and lips that I've been doing because they are so much fun. But tonight we are using mix as our pouring medium. So I really like this stuff. It's such a beautiful consistency. It's nice and thick and very fluffy and it really it has such gorgeous transparency and the colors are gorgeous and vibrant and very shiny when it dries. So I want to do, we did the little 18 inch round with the triple flip and lip, which was a lot of fun. So of course I want to go bigger. So we have a wonderful palette. I will show you in just a second. This is a 24 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put the push pins in, actually HOA taped the back. Let me show you my colors real quick. Uh, this one is Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet. And you can see how lovely and thick and mound on a mound. And this is all just mixed with mix and some of them have a tiny bit of water. This one is permanent blue violet. Again, nice and thick and creamy. This one is Napfell Crimson from Liquitex Basics. It's a gorgeous bright pop of red. I really like this one a lot. Kind of like a strawberry color. I have my 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. Oh, thick and dreamy, it's like that. <laughs> okay, this one is Pyro Orange from Golden. And it's just beautiful, bright, happy, cheerful, gorgeous color. Love it. Okay. Then we have Arteza's Pearl Electric Blue, which is very pretty and does beautiful things with this palette. Really nice stuff. And then we have Artist Loft in Brilliant Yellow. Gorgeous. And I have some white. This is my Amsterdam Titanium White with a little bit of Deco Art Satin Enamels Pure White in there. Okay, so for 24 by 36, we need 31 ounces of paint. But I still want to layer three cups because I do want to do a flip and lip. So I want it to stretch and spread and then I want to be able to run the lip of the cup through it as well. So we're going to layer these at the same time. And I've really been enjoying this sort of rainbow kind of palette. It's been a lot of fun. So I'm going to keep going with what I've been doing because one of them I did came out amazing and I love it. So we're going to start with a little bit of gold in the bottom of each. my permanent red violet and I'm going to go into some white put some of the electric blue in there Crimson, Some permanent red violet, blue violet, and back to the electric blue again. on top of them too. Okay. All 
right, so those cups are ready to go. We're gonna do a flip and lip on each of these. I'm gonna turn this this way. Um, I think I'll take my gold and I'm just gonna thin out what's left in there with some water. That's maybe two teaspoons. There's probably about three ounces of paint in here. And I'm gonna thin this down so it's a lot thinner than what's in those cups. And we're gonna use this as a runway to flip our cups into just a little puddle. So the first one, we're going we're to put one here, one here, and one here. So we're going to put one puddle right about there, one puddle right about there, and one puddle right about there. Actually, I might pull some of this across. Okay. All right, we're going to do that one first. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Very nice. Here we go. Okay, so there's one. And we're gonna do this one. Okay. I'm gonna do this last one. Okay. A mad science moment here. Um, I think I'm gonna take my spatula and just spread this out a little bit. Just on where we're going to drag the cups through. Having a nice thin layer on there is going to help us get some of those pretty gold cells that we like so much. Okay. Alright. Let's do this one first. Okay. Ready? Drag it and then we're gonna run our lip through it. Maybe. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna put that over there for the moment. We're gonna do this one next. Ready? So I didn't drag it. It was not bad. We got to about here before we ran out, <laughs> but that's okay because we're gonna stretch it out. Ready? This one definitely came out more along the lines I was looking for with the yellow and the orange and the red and the red violet and the blue violet. So very, very cool stuff. All right, last one. Are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. You're pretty. Okay. So this is looking pretty cool. I really, I'm having some, oh, I didn't do the lip thing, huh? I guess, I, could, receiving it. I guess I could do it now because I don't really like these two fangs. <laughs> these little gold cells are so pretty through all that white. Not that crazy about that much white there though, but we have enough paint over here that we're going to be able to tilt that off. Okay. So let's take these off. I'm just going to use the edge of the cup. I'm going to start over here and go this way. More of a controlled lip. pretty awesome. Um, I think I do want to put a little bit of my blue violet in through here. Is 
there's a lot of paint on here, which is why I'm not bothering with like a flow extender or anything. Because we only needed 31 ounces of paint and those are 16 ounce cups. So technically we had way more than enough paint. So, all right, we're going to turn this around. And we're going to tilt it out. I like this better and this, and I'm not so crazy about this. So we're going to take this and go down that way. Okay, here we go. And our goal right now is to get these three puddles to become one puddle. And cover up this empty space in between them. So now they're pretty much one all through in here. Okay, take this down that way and go off of that edge. out and open up. Before I do that, I think I'm going to just take some of this paint that's on my table. <coughs> just with my hand. this baby up. See a lot of the weight of the paint is on the left side so I'm going to bring it back this way a little bit so it's more towards the middle and then we're going to go down off the bottom. It should roll nice and easy now. Those cells in that dark purple are really cool. I'm letting this edge go off that corner. white part down here at the bottom. What do you think, HOA? Yeah, crazy about it. Take it off? Yeah, I'd like to see that other area. Let's see. Okay, so where's the way of the paint now? So 
turn this around. And we're going to take off most of that white. And just let this top part open up and stretch because the more we stretch it out, the more cells we're going to get, the more transparency we're going to get. And that's the one nice thing about mixes, there's a lot of elasticity. towards the center again and let that top edge open up these cells here can you see this edge away in the middle of that like the blue violet where there's the oranges underneath it and there's like the blue and gold and yellow cells popping up through there is this one. You know what we could do? We could run a marble through it. That would bring some of the color. Let's see. Where's my marble friend? Okay. Let's start like over here. And I'm going to pull some of that blue-violet into that white. Need another loop de loop? A little one? Yeah, maybe. Thank you. 
Joy. Very groovy. Yeah, groovy is a good word. <laughs> Very solid right here. Do you think we should do the marble right through there maybe once or no? Is it cool? I don't know. I like, kind of like the relief. To leave it? Yeah. I don't know. It's too busy. I think it might be busy if you do that. Oh, I was just thinking maybe one more with a little bit of blue. Yeah, I do want to do just one small one. Not a big one. We're just going to meander that way. And that's actually the one thing that I really like about the marble is that it's very easy to adjust areas that you're not happy with. And just something as simple as that, you know, it's not even any loops or anything like that, but it makes these really beautiful effects and it pulls the colors in. I love that right there. I really like this. All right, let's give this a quick torch. Pretty groovy. I do love all those different color cells. I really like this color palette. I love this right here especially. This dark blue violet with all of this orange and yellow coming up and that blue and then over here where you see the red violet and the naphthol red and the orange and the yellow. It's just so pretty and I love these marble wrecks. All right so this is pretty awesome. This is really beautiful too. These edges very Sarah Mac. <laughs> I love this. This is going to be gorgeous when it dries. A lot of transparency in there, a lot of layers. There are some busy parts, but I really do like that bigger areas of more solid and kind of gradient color. This is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. We'll see you in a minute. Zen, what are you doing? You silly boy. So this is a few days later now, and it's totally dry. This was our triple flip and drag using mix on a 24 by 36, and then we used the marble to embellish it. And these colors are just so pretty, you guys. The naphthol crimson, especially this part in here that's on top of that orange is just so pretty, the pyrrole orange, and I don't know if you guys can see these like, multicolored cells are just kind of crazy and so cool looking. I really love that part. You're critiquing now, Zen? Okay. <laughs> and these beautiful gold cells in here. I hope you guys can see the bling on them. Because this is like nice and shiny and just really, really pretty. And I... <laughs> 
<laughs> Zen is everywhere. I really like the white. There was parts of it that I was worried about the white, but I actually am glad that I left it on there because I think it's balanced. I think this white corner on the bottom over here, which is actually really, really pretty, with that little bit of pearl electric blue in there. And then there's the stubborn white that didn't want to come off. <laughs> balanced by this up here which is very very pretty and soft kind of ethereal multicolored sparkly cells this beautiful blue from that pearl electric blue it's kind of a rainbow feeling again the brilliant yellow <laughs> I like this one I like it a lot reminds me of a, a kaleidoscope you know those things that you <laughs> turn it and see a bunch of different stuff but this part, you guys, in here is just, ah, I love it. Really like this a lot, especially with that blue violet. Don't see as much of the red violet in here, but I'm thinking it kind of blended because I do see it like in here a little bit and then up in this corner. So I must have put that next to the white because I do see a lot of it where the white is. But I like this. I like this a lot. I think it's very vibrant. Full of life, full of movement, beautiful flow. I like the marble. Um, <laughs> he's back again. <laughs> um, I really like that blue, electric blue also. Very, very pretty. Especially over here, you can see how shimmery and sparkly it is. It's a very cool color. This is really neat. Close up, very cool. But these cells, <laughs> this one was very fun to do. I love using the mix, it's great stuff. Um, very convenient to not have to mix with anything else. And I love the consistency, these look awesome right now. So, this is going to be our kaleidoscope pour. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day.